Okay, so this is going to be uh, a uh, how-to guide on how to install an electric bike motor to an existing bike. This is my uh, North, uh, North Rock mountain bike that I got from Costco a few years ago. The hardest part, in my opinion, was connecting the tire to the bike. It did not come with these wheels. It came with with this already installed. I had to get uh, some special tool to take the the wheel off and get these on Amazon as an add-on item. I'll make a list of everything I bought and used for this project. Here's my old wheel. I'm trying to do this in one take. Hope that didn't break. But it does come with its own. And uh, it also comes with this and a disc brake. There it is, and there's my old one. I took that off because because this is smaller. If you can see it. My old one was making contact with the motor. And I had to replace it with this one because it's smaller and fits fits better. Okay, my bike originally came with this. Uh, not that, it's easily removable. That did make the tire come off very easily. But the uh, electric bike kit itself comes with its own. So once you get the tire on, this here, this is not a very hard uh, system to remove and replace. This is the nut holding it, you unscrew it, it comes right off. You just take it off here. The chain and just hang it hang it on the side while I get the rest of the work done again you can replace you can replace it or you can just um, keep your old one if it fits um, I also painted this this was supposed to, this is originally silver um, painted it black to match the other tire and again I did replace the tire uh, so once you get the tire on get the screws knotted um, screwed on it comes with uh, two and I had to I had to put a little nut in there because this was a little too close to here and this uh, this one here was rubbing against it and the chain couldn't get onto it so I had to put that there um, once I did that it it works perfectly so once I got the tire on, I'll go on to how I connected it. I So the wire is on the other side. Here it is. I took the wire and I brought it up here. And it came into uh, this little bag it comes with. The bike comes with this installation guide. But the only thing I found it useful for was just the uh, controller connections. This is my controller. These three connections were for the motor and the battery was uh, these two here, D and E. And those uh, connections are pretty simple. It's just this kind of connection here with this. They are called bullet splice, splice connections. And you're going to also need these. Disconnect. These, this is what they look like. If you're uh, connecting SLA batteries, of course. And using 12 gauge wire like I am. 12 gauge. I bought this from Home Depot. And I bought this from Home Depot. And I bought these from Home Depot. They come in a little box. And this I got from Amazon. As you can see, the uh, connections are connected to the batteries. The controller itself comes with uh, pre-installed uh, bullet connectors. Shoot. You just have to connect uh, your own wires. Connect the wire to the, uh, to the bullet connector, to the bullet connector, make sure it's the correct positive or negative terminals 
and the uh, wire installation. I will show you how I did that. It's just a simple positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative, and then at the end, negative to negative. Um, one sec. The negative wires at the end, the last two are, of course, the bullet connectors. One going to the positive terminal for the controller and one going to the negative. And I also connected the, uh, the charger port to it at the same. I connected this at one end with the uh, charger terminal. So this goes into the battery with the charger. And then this goes into the other end and that connects to the battery to the controller. And I got my SLA batteries for 60 bucks. I'll uh, put a link into what kind of batteries I got. They work perfectly. No problems there. And then this charger here. Got for like 30 bucks on Amazon. Again, I'll put a link in the description. So as for the other connectors, I have the, the throttle here. And the control console. I took my old ones off and I replaced it with these. Not very comfortable, but they get the job done. And I just ran them down the frame and into the little holes. The controller I just put into the side and uh, there's little holes in here as well. They come with little ring connectors that control uh, the controller to the, to the electric bike wheel. And it's pretty simple, you just unscrew it, put it inside, comes, uh, it's pretty simple, and you connect this to the, to the controller as well. The only thing you're really connecting um, to the battery is the battery terminals. The controller does get really hot after use, so be wary. You can either connect it on the outside so it can get some air, or just connect, put it inside, but it does get really hot. Duct tape is a must if you're connecting these batteries. Uh, it keeps them together and it keeps the connectors from falling out, getting out. I did make a huge mistake and almost electrocuted myself. As you can see, I burnt one of the terminal heads off and the connector nearly killed myself. So don't make the same mistake I did. Use uh, Use a diagram I used. You can uh, find it online. Oh, it fail. It's not focusing, but you can find the diagram online. Uh, I don't think there's much else to say about it. I got this on Amazon as well, a little flashlight. And I'll show you guys um, that it works. Everything is good. It gets up to 30 miles an hour is great all right I'm gonna try and... <laughs> it's really heavy So yeah, this was just a quick little uh, installation guide I couldn't find on online, so I thought I'd make a quick, crappy one. Um, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments, and I'll answer them as best as I can.